Okay, so this is what we are doing for today. I'm gonna be attempting some PSLE questions to see how dumb, I mean smart, I am. Uh, um, a friend of mine actually suggested this idea to me, so shout out to him. For those who don't know what PSLE is, it stands for Primary School Leaving Examination, and as the name suggests, it is the final test that primary school students in Singapore will need to pass before graduating. Uh, for my PSLE, I got like 209 or something out of 300, which is just alright I guess. But yeah, I want to see if I can still do these questions since it's been quite a while since I took my PSLE. But first, the year-end school holidays are coming. And yes, the next PSLE is still a year away. But instead of your child just sitting at home, playing games and watching YouTube all day, why not kickstart his or her PSLE preparation with Teacher Charles? Once a teacher, he has trained over 100,000 students from over 200 schools. And he can boost exam performances within a short period of time. I mean results speak for themselves. Just see the numerous positive reviews from parents on his website. From primary 3 all the way to secondary 4, he offers both math and science crash courses. I'll leave a link to his website in the description below where you can find out more. His contact details will be there as well if you have any inquiries. And uh, yeah, let's get back to the video. So I found this website which apparently has the latest PSLE exam papers which was this year's. Not sure how reliable this is but we're gonna try it anyways. Let's start off with English. Oh yeah, I won't be doing mother tongue, obviously. Okay, so how this is gonna work is, as you can see, I have this page writer here. I'll write down my answers first on the page, and then I'll mark later using the answer key. Okay, question one. Oh, okay, so it's just MCQ about like grammar or something. The student, the professor spoke about... Ooh, oh my god, why am I really stuck in the first question? Uh, Okay, it's between one and three, but... You know what, I'm gonna go with three. He's never on time for his appointments, does he? Number 4 Amanda thanked the young man who helped her retrieved her wallet You know what? So far so good I mean it is primary school, yes, but I expected way harder, you know Question 4 Pounce on it Number 2 Hearing the good news Upon Right? Yeah, upon I don't know why I struggled there, but uh... <laughs> All the art materials that are placed in the storeroom, I assume? Yup, definitely two. Look for me at the staff room... Uh... Should you need help? The students were reminded to comply with the school rules. Someone help the mother carry? Yeah, definitely. Uh, if you continue to work hard, you will not achieve your goals. Unless... Okay, next. Oh, still MCQ. Uh, okay. Susan was... Ooh! Oh my god. Susan was commended... Ew. Why did I struggle like it was a hard question? Obviously, it's commended. <sighs> question 12 is... Cautiously or deliberately? Cautiously, yeah. Zaki cannot resist ice cream and cakes because he has a... What? Wait, wait, wait. Am I just being dumb or what? How the heck do I know this? Yes, looking back now, that was a negative 200 IQ moment. For some reason, in my head, I was thinking Zaki cannot take ice cream. Yeah. It can't be cold feet. It can't be hit in the clouds. Cause I swear that's like saying you're high or something. <laughs> uh, it's not cheap on his shoulder as well, right? It has to be sweet tooth then. If I get that wrong, I'm pissed. <laughs> After learning the Chinese language for the past 3 years, the Vaki, pretty cool name by the way, uh, has become... Proficient, yes, oh my god. Why am I struggling so hard? Jane woke up at 6 in the morning in order to set... Off? Set on, set off, it's yeah, set off, set off. Oh, okay, what the heck is this? For each question, choose the words closest in meaning to the underlying words. Oh, okay. I don't remember having this segment for my PSLE, but okay. The pre The pre -re -que The pre -re -que Oh my god, how do you say that? The pre -re -que The pre -re -que The pre -re -que The pre -re -que A uh, few glass bottles, water and a stick. 
I have no idea what does that mean. <laughs> uh, if I'm going to guess, I think it's requirement. Let's just move on to the next one. The water xylophone is a captivating musical instrument that uses water to produce enchanting sounds. Ah, a word that is much more easier to understand. <laughs> The water xylophone is uh... uh to be fair it's quite uninteresting so <laughs> but nah this is number two obviously oh oh is it ah you know what next one enhancing Ooh, improving or boosting improving the resonance or boosting the resonance i think it's improving but oh, can be boosting as well i'm just gonna put improving illustrating principles of physics and acoustics uh, demonstrating, making it a prevalent choice for musicians. Hmm. I mean, these all mean the same thing, except for popular. So I uh, I'll go for that. Okay, next. Okay, I'm just gonna skip this one because I can't be bothered to keep going up to the page. Ah, okay. This one seems pretty easy. It is contributed. Uh, leading. Do a warming effect on Earth. Yep. C. Oh my god, that's an ugly C. Ignore that C, please. Harmful to. Okay, I'm just gonna fast forward this, otherwise, it'll be boring for you. Next. Each of the underlying words contains either a grammatical or spelling error. Yet, he had a height challenge. What? Hiding challenge? Oh, hidden challenge. Okay, I'm gonna type it out. But soon... What? Is this meant to be a like, comma? Okay, I'm done. Last one is just comprehension or something, which I can't be bothered to do. <laughs> yeah, let's just see how many I got correct. Honestly, I think I got most of it correct because it was actually pretty easy. The prerequisite. <laughs> actually, pretty easy. Okay, question one, number three. Question two. What? Oh my god. Second question, and I got wrong already. What, you're telling me is number one? He's never on time for his appointments, is he? Actually, you know what, that makes sense. <laughs> Why did I pick does he? He's never on time for his appointments, does he? It's correct also, no? Ah, I don't know. Number three is... What? Amanda thanked the young man who helped her retrieve her wallet. Nah, it's retrieved. Who helped her retrieve. Ah, actually, uh, it is retrieved. My bad. Number 4, okay. Number 5, okay. Number 6. How? All the art materials that was placed... No, 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 I'm correct on this. Listen, all the art materials that are placed in the storeroom versus all the art materials that was placed in the storeroom. There must be some error or something. Alright, next. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. I got the last 4 correct. Okay, okay. Oh, it's actually Sweet Tooth. <laughs> And okay, so far so good. Two two four one three two two two. Why? Wait, it's not improving. Okay, so what's the answer? Boosting. Uh, okay. Question twenty nine is H. It is contributed by the release. It is caused by the release. They're basically the same, but okay. C Q F K B N D. J L. Oh, okay, you know what? At least I got the rest correct. Blah blah blah. Uh, oh, I got 46 wrong. In order for him to have a balance between. Okay. So I got a total of 6 wrong, which means I got 36 out of 42, which is not too bad, I think. Uh, next, let's do science, which will be in the next video coming up very soon. And yes, I'll also be attempting math questions as well, so remember to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss it. Don't forget to check out Teacher Charles' website for math and science crash courses. Link will be in the description below.